over at the Wham Bam booth here talking with my buddy Peter. You guys might remember, it was a little bit ago. I think we're overdue for it, but we had Peter on the podcast. The card to his episode so you can take a look. I'm told there's some pretty awesome stuff coming out from Wham Bam. Let's talk about it. Absolutely. We have a lot of new products, a lot of new product extensions. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we did was we created a larger size of our resin hot box, the yep. Mega, and that'll fit a lot of the larger printers as long as they have a removable cover. We did produce also laser protective windows for our FDM hot boxes. That's so now, great to see. Yeah, you've got some real safety because you got the laser protective window, you have the cloud able to be mounted inside, yep. and that's gonna prevent fires. You have the aluminum lining, which will resist the accidental laser shot if you have one of those stupid magnetic ones. <laughs> Right. And uh, the vent port will help to exhaust your fumes. So you've got safety everywhere. Safety is important, especially yeah. with those diode lasers, it man. It really is. They're, it's crazy. they're, they're rough. They're it's crazy. Rough. And you shouldn't use those without glasses yeah. from everybody in the household. You've got kids running around. You do not want those lasers shooting and reflecting and shooting anywhere. That is That's correct. permanent damage. Even if you don't see the beam, it's, yep. it's dangerous to your eye. Just a little bit of refraction can be a real oh, yeah. problem with that. So we've always been real cautious about that, worried about that. We started incorporating into our products. Yeah. We created a, a hot box for the P1P, the bamboo P1P, and nice. we are super excited about it. Where it's not yet for sale, it'll be on our website in a few weeks. Okay. Coming but we soon wanted to, to bring it to the show to show everybody because it fits snugly. It's right. got tool holders. It holds the, the cloud inside of it. This does a lot of cool things. And especially if you had a P1P, maybe you didn't want to go the P1S route, save a little bit of cash. You can pick up that hot box and then it's really easy to take it out. So if you want to do some open air printing, you don't got to leave a door yeah. open. And you can unzip a side if you want to for exactly. access or for air. You can take it off or take it on. The sides are both unzippable. It's real easy. I mean, it's really convenient. We're using it on our P1P. Nice. And we love it. We're doing P, uh, ABS prints full scale. It's, it's wonderful. And it's better insulating properties than the plastic ones they sell or the three printed ones. I so love it. You got it. I yeah. love it, love it, love it. Yeah. We came out with a lot of new sizes for FPS, for resin, and for FDM. So that's always growing. And our cloud, everybody's loving. So Gotta you know, love we're the happy cloud. They're it's great to make sure if you do have some sort of an uh-oh with your printer, that it can take care of any uh, flames that might be yeah. out there. And for the low cost, uh, I mean, it's a no-brainer. You put it above every machine and yep. you're safe, you know? Absolutely. So Absolutely. we're proud to be doing something that's actually contributing to safety and well-being in the 3D printing community, not just for fun. And it's what it's about, right? People are always kind of focused on the hardcore. So I'm like, hey, why don't we make sure that we have our safety taken care of first? Let's put on some gloves because resin is toxic. Yeah. And, you know, maybe put a slap mat down so you protect your build down. surface. Yep. Let's, you know, put a cloud on your FDM printers just in case. Because you never want to play the game of, I have to decide how I'm going to extinguish this fire. Exactly. You know, exactly. don't, when don't it's find too late, it's, it's too late. When there's already a fire, it's too late. And, you know, there's way too many irresponsible companies selling $40 lasers out there with no protection. And it's it's a shame. It's scary to see. Yep. So we're doing our part. I'm happy about that. Well, Peter, thank you so much. A anything else coming out that you want to tell the folks at home about? Uh, nothing we can tell you yet, but stay tuned, please. And I'll, I'll let you know, Grant, as soon as we have anything. Absolutely, guys. Links to Wham Bam in that description down below. There might be a coupon code down there, too. I think that's a good idea. All right. We'll see you guys at the next booth. East Coast Rep Rep Festival 2023 continues right after this. We're over at the Fabrico booth and nobody's around. So we're gonna go through all their drawers. We have some awesome stuff going on here at Fabrico. Everything from the Carvera to Vorons and things that I don't understand. But I've been giving free reign to just do whatever we want. If you are a Patreon member, you will see this camera here. You guys will have a complete access behind the scenes to this video. So check our Discord, check Patreon, check PayPal and all that. And if you do wanna join, links are in that description down below so you can get the behind the scenes of everything that's going on for the Fabrico filming because there is Fabrico people here, but we thought it'd be a lot of fun for me just to go through and you know look at things. We have some amazing printers over here that I have no clue what they are. Uh, this looks like a rat rig. Yeah, there's a rat in it, so it's probably a rat rig. See, there's a rat, it's a rat rig, right? Aaron, rat rig, it's a 300 mil rat rig. See, I know what I'm talking about, huh? This is a 200 mil rat rig. There's not somebody over here telling me what's going on. We've got parts, we got, ooh, that's some nice tech flex. We got boards, oh, I undid the thing. You saw nothing, you saw nothing. We got doors in here. I was told all the drawers had stuff in them. Fine. What? 
There are drawers that don't have what? <laughs> and then, um, you know, just ignore me. Ignore me. We're good. Just ignore me. Just over here, we've got some awesome machines from Fabrica. We've got a little Voron Zero Dot Two miniature baby trident. These things are a lot of fun. I like it because it gives you that flexibility. If you've ever built a trident before, it's just smaller. So I've been told that um, this individual, Mr. K2 Kevin here, has flown all the way from Chicago. I actually drove all the way. From you drove Chicago. all the way from Chicago just so you could get me laid. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's official. You have been laid at Earth. Oh, thank you. Uh, might interfere with my microphone, but Check out the K2 clips, links in the description down below. Everyone say hi to Kevin in the comments. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Take it easy. I gotta take this off though, because it's gonna rub my it's gonna rub my lava mic. We'll keep it somewhere. Here, I have a plan. I have a plan. Eh? Yeah, got that's just that, that, that might, might be a little bit weird. I don't know. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna hand it to Amber for now. Guys, check out K2 Kevin. <laughs> links in the description. This is a fun video. We also have Nerf Blasters. I know. This is one of the big things that gets people into 3D printing. It's Nerf Blasters. Everything from the Lynx to other ones that I have no clue, but these things are absolutely beautiful blasters, all 3D printed, and they will fire Nerf darts way farther, way faster than you think. Absolutely beautiful pieces of kit. These are not real firearms, obviously. These are for Nerf darts. Really, really pretty pieces. I love it. And the magnet holders. Oh man, that's that's super cool. We have a rook back there. We've got another salad fork. We've got, I don't, maybe some sort of V0. And that thing, I don't know what it is, but that thing is crazy cool back there. Although it it looks a little rusty. I don't uh, I don't know why it's rusty. Aaron, why has that printer got rust in it? It's all steel. Okay, well that explains it. That makes sense. It's heavy, she, she's thick. We've also got some really cool hot end stuff up here. I'm just gonna pick this up. Look at what is possible. Tiny little fans, they're just so cute. Man, and that is a really small extruder too. This thing weighs nothing. Wow. There's a, Fabrico's got a lot of things and Fabrico is also the only USA distributor for Carvera. So if you are looking to pick up the Makera Carvera, make sure to check them out. We're gonna show you guys some footage of the Carvera because that thing is positively cool. I want one so bad because I just want to mill weird stuff with it. But Fabrico's got a lot of awesome pieces, a lot of awesome kit builds. Of course, rat rigs, vorons, mini vorons, blasters, CNC mills, lasers, and all the things. Check out Fabrico, links in the description down below. Thank you to Hector and the entire crew for Brico for just saying, I don't know, wing it. Let's hit some B-roll, on to the next one. We are over at the Thangs booth. You guys might remember a little bit ago that I spoke with Dennis from Thangs where we talked about a lot of things, including some of the crazy security measures that Thangs has to go through being that they are the sister company to Fizna. But we got some awesome stuff going on and something that I, I'm, I'm a bad content creator because I totally missed this. You guys notice that Thangs changed their logo color from yellow to blue? I didn't until yesterday, so. We have a rebrand. Talk to me about this rebrand, John. You know, it's been three years now since things started and it just felt a little bit old. See, it needed something new and we just cleaned it up. And now it's uniform across the site. So uh -huh. uh, last week we just updated the model pages. Yep. Model pages now have that nice blue on the download, become a member. It's all uniform now. We're still cleaning up. There's some spots in the workspace where we missed that uniform, but it's coming. And that's really to bring that user experience to the next level, right? It is, absolutely. Yeah. That's kind of what it's all about, right? You guys know we love model repositories. We talked a lot about printables, talked a lot about things, talked about Thingiverse, Cults, my mini factory. And the thing that you see across all of them is the cohesion in that not only brand knowledge, but beyond it, the user experience. And things is doing something a little bit different that a lot of other communities haven't done. While other communities have sorts of contests, you guys are doing like freaking <laughs> cash prizes. Talk about so, that for Sort me. of, sort of. So yeah, $10,000 giving away every single week right now. We just doubled it. $10,000. It's actually more than that. So wow. from positions one through 25, 
We're giving away about $10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, like first place right now, uh, $2,000. Yeah. But if you are a new designer coming onto the platform for the first time and you break in the top 25, $500. But if no one wins that, next week it rolls over. Mm -hmm. And then it rolls over the next week until somebody does win it. Now there's a second bonus too. Uh, breakthrough designer bonus. You get into the top 15 for the first time, another $500. If you don't get that one week, somebody can win it next week, plus the previous week's total. Wow. So it will keep building. Now, uh, in addition to that, positions 26 through 50, we just added two. Now you know about memberships. Yep. So what we're doing for positions 26 through 50, buy one membership, we'll pay five months. So you pay your first month, we'll pay the next five. Go support one of your favorite content creators, Chelsea, 3D Print Buddy, 3D Printing World, Inspired. Go find one of them, support them, and then we'll cover the next five months. That's awesome. Yeah. Thangs is really literally investing in the community <laughs> to help grow people that want to design. See, it's it, it's it's kind of the, the, the dirty side of designing. It's that you have to spend months and years and just all this time getting to be a tenth as good as Fotis Mint to even get close to being able to afford to do it full time. And thanks as well, hold on a minute. You don't need to do that. We can help you get started and build up that community because getting into that top 50 is actually a lot easier than you think. The competition is pretty tough in the, in the top five, but below it, it's very easy to get noticed. And you're right on uh, quite a few pages inside of Fangs. So there's a lot of opportunity for new designers who want to get noticed. Maybe they've got something interesting. Or maybe they haven't worked with a big content creator and just gotten lucky. Yeah. They're someone that is just kind of quiet. They want to show up. Who's like Fixum Dude? Yep. Fixum Dude with his <laughs> with his Fixum Dude motors, like yeah. this uh, this really adorable concrete truck, which I, I absolutely love. It, it's beautiful. He's on Thangs. Pez Liz, who did a lot of the pieces here on the table, as well as K2 Kevin, they're both on Thangs as well. It's a really cool platform. We will be on Thangs coming soon. We're gonna be doing Thangs memberships to allow you know people Fantastic. to support in a different way. I, I don't do a lot of designing for the general public, so <laughs> we really can't release a lot of models, but there will be one model coming up soon that we will be releasing on Thangs as well. Uh, we have a model of our cat that we've been working Very on nice. as a torture test model. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of fun, but uh, anything you wanna tell us about what's coming up uh, here with Thangs? Um, wow, we've been really focused on memberships. Like mm -hmm. it, it was a massive request by designers. I think you know about Workspace. We talked about Workspace in the past and, yep. and the designer tools, yep. the empowerment tools. The very beginning of Thangs was about giving tools to creators to help them build audience, to build faster, yep. to connect with the community, to do things that they want to do without having to spend so much time in the things that they don't want to do. Right. Example, um, AI tools to help them. You upload a model to things, you can choose to have a, a chat GPT prompt, write your SEO optimized description field. Oh, that's nice, because I suck at writing. And I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> that's why we don't script our videos, because I suck at writing. But yeah, that's awesome. That's a great yep. way to help get it noticed because SEO optimization is where you get noticed. Yep. And, and additionally, we've heard from people say like, I don't know what to do uh, next. Like how do I post my model and get people to, to check it out and recognize yeah. it? Well, at the end of publishing, now you can also go tweet and then have chat GPT prompt the tweet for you. Right, the tweet. Optimized with the right hashtags. Man, and I should just you. I should just do all my social media posting through Thangs and let <laughs> and, 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 and let their chat GPT robot write it for me. So this is man, where- that, that's tough. We, we post so much on social media, we have to always think about what to say and how to say it and the right things to say and make sure it's SEO optimized. And you guys just include that yep. for no additional charge. No charge, we cover it. So this is where like, what's the new thing coming up? Well, what if you upload a model and you don't have a great backdrop? What if your camera's broken? What if you didn't test the print yet? I'm filling with a potato, I mean, come on. Well then we will give you a background. Nice. An AI generated background you get to choose from. Type in where you want it positioned. All what right. type of environment do you want? Your object will be placed in that environment and you'll be able to post that and that'll be your thumbnail. That's awesome. Yeah. We love things here, even though in the past, I have been pretty critical. In fact, we'll card that video where I was critical. Because here's the thing, and it's the thing that I've loved about working with you and talking with Dennis, is that I've brought those criticisms to Thangs, and both John and Dennis have listened and made real world adjustments to the way that Thangs works to make sure that the actual criticisms are heard, right? It's often that we will say things about companies and people will say things about other companies and they don't care. 
Thangs actually cares. Being a part of the community requires companies to also pay attention to their consumers. And Thangs listens. Literally, the talk with Dennis on our podcast was all because we were just talking. I said, why don't we just do this live? He's like, all right, sure. And I said, just, I'm not gonna give you a pass. He said, I wasn't expecting one. I want the hard questions. It's what I like about you guys. You're real, you're honest, and it's what people like about us. Maybe that's why we get along so well. I don't know. They do, yeah. But seriously, check out things in the description down below. Go support your fellow content creators, your fellow 3D modelers that want to make cool stuff that are maybe just trying to get that extra five, 10 bucks a month to go full time. Because it's not easy. John, thank you so much for showing this off. We are having an awesome time here at Earth 2023, but there's more coming up. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And a huge thank you to all of our channel member supporters whose names are listed right next to us at the $5 Jane Harry. Thank you guys for what you do. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Anyways, continued coverage of East Coast Rep Rap Festival 2023 coming at you right after this. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is awesome. Thank you. And keep making great. awesome. Can yeah, it's that? at the end of the videos. <laughs> um, you'll okay. probably be somewhere in the middle of an episode. Okay, okay. But yeah. Well, you know what? Let's use this one as an end. And I'll, and I'll let you say keep making awesome. Does that sound good? You want to do yeah. it? All right.